What's up, Internet? Just chilling, chilling, chilling. Actually, I got a few little things I'm doing today. I'm going to a friend of mine. They actually have like a little catering business slash restaurant type thing. And I'm going to go do some, some deliveries for them today. Uh, being that I am, you know, jobless and uh, want to make some kind of money. <laughs> So I'm going to go do some deliveries and uh, then come home and then do my other for real job, which is, you know, take care of the house and all that jazz. I'm going to show you all the bathroom, the completed, now decorated, everything, yada, yada, yada product. Here we go. Of course, there's me. Hi. No. There's a little something, some candles and put this up. Yep, yep. And then this is kind of cool. I like this here. On this back wall, we got it. I like that. And then Stace, she put it like some little birds resting on the towel rack and on the little door stopper and up there. <laughs> and then she put this together. She made this thingamabob. And of course, you know, I hung the tray. So, looks good. So far, everyone that's seen it likes it. So, uh-oh, I just went dark on y'all. Oh, uh, hope to get back in the groove of these vlogs every day here. I know that definitely been missing some days. Uh, or missed a day, I think it was. Um, I was getting my power cord, but now I got my power cord. Funny story about that, too. Because, see, I ordered one. And, uh-oh, somebody wants to talk to me. Let's see. Okay, um... Uh, I had ordered uh, one charger online, and when I ordered it, I thought I got the right one, because uh, it said MacBook Pro, um, it was a 65 watt though, so I didn't really know what the wattage was supposed to be for my particular 15 inch MacBook Pro. So then I got to research and answer that, and I was like, oh crap, I ordered the wrong thing, because I needed an 85 watt. So I went on, ordered another one. But then it turns out, the first one, when it came, they both charge it. So, you know, worst case scenario is I've got a second one. I'll just put it as a backup. Uh, but I'll use the 85 watt and just keep the 65 watt in case of emergency or whatever. So, there you have it. I'm going to go out, do some running, and uh, I'll be back with y'all. Well, isn't that special? Just dropped off one of my kiddos. His friend's house for spend the night or whatever man getting older sucks <clears throat> I guess especially my kids getting older that's the thing that sucks because you begin to realize how much they it's exciting and it sucks let me rephrase that because they start to become you know more and more independent and you know they don't need you as much and it's a little bit liberating, but at the same time, it's like, I like taking care of them, you know? And you take care of them ever since the day they're born, and all of a sudden, it seems like with the blink of an eye, they're older, they're able to pretty much do everything themselves, and it just sucks from the standpoint that you can't uh, can't get that time back, you know. Can't get none of that time back, and you just make most of make the most of the time you've got, you know, with them now as they're getting older, because it opens up different chapters and different ways of being able to spend time with them. And but they're still not the same as that, you know, that need that they have for you when they're a kid, when they're a little bitty, and they genuinely need you, you know? And, uh, you know, when, you're, when your kids are younger, too, I, I know Stacy and I have always been like this, but um, when they're young and a little, um, you know, you're like, man, can you imagine when they get older? Because we had our kids young, so, you know, we used to be like, imagine when they're, like, you know, 14, 15, and, you know, 19, or, no, like they are now, I'll take that back, 13, 14, and you're going to be 18, 
13, 14, 18. Look, we have three teenagers, you know, two in high school, one in middle school. But like, man, we'll be on easy street as far as them being self-sufficient and all that kind of stuff. But it's that it's those times you don't realize back then what it was like, you know, how much you need to cherish those times. It's you know, and everybody's parents have always said it, you know, time goes by so fast, you know, in the blink of an eye, your kids are older and they don't really need you, and everybody's parents said it to them where they've been like, you know, wish you could, you know, you say you wish you could, as they get older, you know, you wish you could keep them small, and it goes both ways. When they're little, you're like, man, I can't wait till you are bigger, but where is the, for me, you know, where's that in between? Uh, I don't know. I don't know where that in between part's at where you're. It's like, yeah, this is the perfect. This is it right now. This is the perfect time. I think for me, it was when they were maybe like um, five, six, and ten, something like that. And they were all a little bit older. But at the same time, we're still young enough where they needed us. They all walked, they all talked, you know, they all goofed around, and it was just a, a different time at that age for each one of them. And now it's one of those, you know, you feel like sometimes they just need, they really just depend on you to, you know, clothe them and <laughs> put a roof over their head. That everything else they pretty much can do on their own. And, as a parent, especially as a young parent, you gotta be, you know, it's hard to kind of pull back a little bit and let them do stuff, let them be independent and all that. And it's, it's tough for me. That's a real hard part for me. I don't know about you all, if you, any of y'all have kids or, or if you are kids. You know, if you're if you're a younger kid and you're watching this, you need to give your parents some slack every once in a while because it's tough for parents to. Uh, to let go a little bit that's the hardest thing we have to do as parents is learn when to let go more and more as you get older as a kid and that's the hardest thing for me because my son my oldest is going to be 18 in May and I want to still treat him like he's a little bitty guy you know sometimes I just want to grab him and you know snuggle with him and everything you know I was always the one that I've always been the one that's been real lovey-dovey I guess but just different and you know same thing with my other two um, they're becoming more and more self-sufficient and independent in their own way they think and uh, what they want to do and what they like and everything and it's weird so for me the challenge is where do I what's the next step for me as a parent as a dad where do I go next and how I teach them you know how do I uh, express myself to them how do I communicate with them better on a level you know not that it's not totally adult like but in a way that is respectful to them for their age and in the same way that starts to have that bond a little bit where they're you know yeah they're getting older so you wanna still be the parent figure but at the same time you wanna start to develop kind of that that different friendship with them but you'll but yet still let them know you know you're I'm the parent type thing so I don't know just some things I was thinking about because I was dropping off my oldest to his friends and sometimes when I don't get to see them as much I get like that where I'll just go man time just flashes and gone and what are you gonna do you know so what's going on with you all I have not too much of anything else going on my other kiddos will be home here in a little bit went and did some work earlier for my friend's catering service did some did a delivery for them. And uh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna like doing that for them. It'll help them out, and of course, it'll help me out too because I get paid a little bit, so it's all gravy. But, uh, 
really it's about it. Oh, look at my doggies. Look. Alright. <laughs> they love it when daddy's home. So funny. Oh, y'all probably got a really good zoomed in look at my face. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to get in here and uh, love on my doggies a little bit. Peace. That's something funny <laughs> to tell y'all. Uh, my male basset hound. Can you hear him? Listen. <laughs> and my Australian Shepherd, they're getting ready to be fixed on March 15th. But they're both like in heat. And he is whined and everything all day trying to get outside to her. I had him outside this morning, then I went outside to bring him in. Or no, to get the other dogs outside water. And when I did, I saw him trying to get up on her. And of course, she's taller. He can't even reach to her for nothing. But it was freaking hilarious because all he does is follow her around, sniffing on her, and uh, trying to get on top, trying to mount her. And he can't because he's, he's just long, his body. So even when he stands up, his junk is still too small at the ground, too low to the ground. It's like up to her little ankles, so he can't do nothing about it. So he's like pissed right now. He's like, on it. I can't even get to her. And when I do get a chance to get to her, I still can't do nothing. It's hilarious. But all day, I mean all day, he sat here and watched. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, as soon as I stop talking, I start doing it. Oh, now you're going to stop, aren't you, Ollie? <laughs> He's going to stop now. <laughs> this is hilarious. I love it. <laughs> He's like, please help me up. Somebody, please help me up. <laughs> you're just not big enough, Oliver. Sorry about your luck. He's like, dang it. Foiled again. You hear him? He's all, ooh, this blows. What's wrong, Ollie? <laughs> Sorry, I like just attack her. <laughs> she gets down from the staff. <laughs> I know it goes someplace. Someone help me. <laughs> <laughs> if you just had a stepping stool, buddy. <laughs> Let's try it this way. <laughs> oh, he's got a hold of her hand. <laughs> She's like, dude, dude, get off my head. You're not putting that thing in my face. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. <sighs> uh, hilarious. <laughs> <sighs> Back. Will he not leave you alone, Ziva? He's chasing you around like crazy. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Brown chicken. <laughs> wow, wow. He's like a circus. Legs. He's like a circus dog. It's like a bear. It looks like a bear. Way down, 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 down. Pathetic. He's got a table. He's like, okay, let's try it this way. No. <laughs> it can't work. It's it's got to please. <laughs> please. You don't need a lung. <laughs> Look at him, he's trying to figure it out. He's like, okay. I don't get it. Let me try this. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this <is so> it's <laughs> giving him a workout. He's getting more exercise now than he has in the past freaking six months. He don't ever jump up that much. His back legs will be so strong now, so I ain't funny. He's like, oh, yes. Did you need a drink of water? Get you a drink of water, my dear. And now, allow me to try to jump your bones uh, one more time. Come on. Come to me. Aha, I get you now. <laughs> yes, there you are. Mm-hmm. 